Huberman has a global program called He for She. And this is an initiative that we have. We have a global impact champions program that works with corporations across the world. He for she basically means that men in particular in leadership positions champion and work in solidarity for women's empowerment and gender equality. The Awomi program is part of our global partnership with UN Women. And we started working in at the beginning of 2017 with the UN Women team in Southern Africa. De Beers being based in our multi-country office countries, Botswana, Namibia and South Africa, decided to invest specifically here. To work together to design a program that's focused on female micro-entrepreneurs who largely operate in the informal sector. So here is a big opportunity for us to bring women who are otherwise relegated to survival enterprises, to have the opportunity to grow, to learn, to deepen their skills and actually begin to move towards sustainable businesses. What we decided to do was to say, let's work through these three countries where De Beers is present and together with De Beers identify a particular community or area working with a partner that makes sense because we wanted to be able to show real impact. It's been a true partnership to co-design the program, the amount of engagement with local stakeholders to factor that into the design with UN Women, working with ministries and the local trainers has been fantastic and I think is, will result in a very strong model. What we've learned from our previous engagements is how important it is not to just walk in, train and walk out, but actually develop a program where there's mentorship and coaching and really hand-holding of these enterprises over a period of time until we are sure that there's some sustainability that's taking place. We know all the research shows that if you invest in women, they invest you know, 90% of that income back into communities and, and families, education and health. So the potential for exponential impact on community development is really significant. Our expectations is that if we have 500 in Limpopo and we have 500 in the Delta region of Botswana and we have 500 in the regions in Namibia, we can expect that at least 10 people per person would be impacted, that's already 5,000, and we expect that these models will be able to actually have a ripple effect in that community and start really changing the lives of communities there. The manuals, the training that we're talking about, the master trainers, the actual trainers that we've been training, they actually live in the community and so they understand the context of that community. It means that outside of the formal training, they've got a mentor to go to and to discuss their challenges that they're experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis.